and on to the next category, the Kerrang! Hall of Fame Award. Tonight's inductees have lived and breathed rock and roll ever since they burst onto Hollywood's Sunset Strip in the 80s. With their big hair and even bigger heels, they're a real motley crew. See what I did there? Let's have a look at them in action. The Kerrang! Hall of Fame winners, Motley Crue. Uh, so here I am with Vince Neil, Motley Crue. You've just won the uh, Hall of Fame award. How does it feel? Isn't that great? You know, it's really cool. I mean, I'm keeping this fucking thing, man. This is cool. Excellent. Um, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's really cool that, uh, you know, Crane Magazine's been around as long as Motley Crue has been. Yeah. And they really, uh, you guys really cultivated our career, you know, especially in Europe. Right. Yeah, you know, like I said you know, on stage, that you guys are the very first magazine to put a cover of me. Yeah. Or, or any Motley Crue, anybody, you know, it, just, it was the first time. And, uh, you know, I always, re always remember that. And, uh, and I think it's great that you guys do that for, for newer bands and you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep cultivating bands and uh, keep rock and roll music flowing, man. Brilliant. Well, apart from winning the award, what's been your highlight of the evening so far? I, it's cool. Like, actually, just, uh, you know, seeing uh, old friends and, and, uh, and, and it actually. Uh, seeing new bands that I've never heard of and going, wow, those guys are pretty cool. You know, now I'm going to go out and buy some records, you know. Excellent. So it's uh, kind of exciting. Cool. So uh, you're playing Sonosphere this weekend. Sonosphere on Saturday. Um, yeah. yeah. What what kind of uh, things have you got in store for the fans? Uh, it's a Motley Crew, man. You know yeah. what we're going to do. You know, we only have so much time to play and we're going to play what we what we got to play. So uh, uh, we're going to have some fun. Awesome. Um, so how are you going to spend the rest of the night celebrating? Uh, I'm going to strip club. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see, disbelieve see, you. <laughs> see if this can get me laid. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it will. Well, have a great night, and it's been a pleasure talking Thanks, to you. Thanks, man. Thanks I a appreciate lot. it, bro. Cheers. And now we move on to one of the most prestigious awards of the night, Best International Band. The question on everyone's lips is, can 30 Seconds to Mars repeat their 2008 victory, or will they lose out this time to plucky youngsters Metallica? Let's have a look at the nominees. And the winners are 30 Seconds to Mars. Unfortunately, they're on tour in Australia, so let's cross over to Dan somewhere else on the planet. Come on. <laughs> That's disgusting. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Krang Podcast. I'm here with 30 Seconds to Mars. Um, unfortunately, they're on tour in Australia at the moment, so they can't be here at the Krang Awards, but we've managed to get them. Um, Which is odd because you said we're in Australia and they can't be here. But they can't but be here in England. But where are you right now? Answers on see? a postcard. We're going to have to call Can Stephen Hawking to figure this out. <laughs> Stephen Hawking, where are you? Please. <laughs> he's, uh, he's just coming out here. So, he's congratulations. Taking. It's Thank your you. third Kerrang Award. Best International Band. That's sort of one of the highest on Well, it's maybe the highest honor on the, uh, it, the actual awards it's, calendar. It's pretty incredible. We're very, very um, blown away. We're Absolutely. humbled. And uh, like I said, we, this is all about our family of fans around the world. That crazy, dysfunctional, mad group of... Uh, men and women uh, who are who have voted like fiends mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm sure there are hospitals around around, <laughs> around the globe that have people showing up with crooked bent fingers saying help me yes. there right. will be right. care right. packages sent to you thank From, you uh, yeah. <laughs> so ice your fingers thanks so much for that you guys we love you, you and uh, it's just been great this is very cool, cool. very cool well thank you very much Tomo uh, Shannon and Jared back to you in the studio Simon and on to the final category of the night, Best British Band. Lost Profits won this in 2006 and 2007. A bullet for my valentine took the title for the following two years. Which of any of the Welsh rockers will make it a hat-trick tonight? Or will enter Shikari, Yumi at six or the King Blues take the title this year? Let's have a look at the nominees in action. And the winners are Bullet for Mal Valentine, making it 3 for 3 for the Bridge End Quartet. So, uh, uh, Bullet for Mal Valentine are uh, clearly enjoying their uh, second award of the evening. There's Moose, who's champion wrestler, and uh, Matt's joining in now. And it, yeah, he's just, he just walked in basically, put his foot on the rest of them when they were already down. 
So here I am with Matt Tuck, a brother from a Valentine, and you've won Best British Band. This is the second award of the night, and the third time you've won this award. Yeah, that's wicked, isn't yeah. it? Three times in a row. Yeah, did you expect to win again this week? Uh, no, honestly, again, it was something that we hoped, but don't expect. But we did, so thank you very much, Cole. Uh, what was going through your mind when you went on stage? Now you've had a, a couple of beers. Please, no one speak on the mic apart from me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because... If uh, I'm honest... Because uh, I'm honest. Because the uh, viewers can't see, but there's absolute pandemonium breaking out, and it's three of your bandmates going. Yeah, it. as drunk as we all are, I do have a bit of restraint and professionalism. Yep. The other three are heathens, the cavemen, and alcoholics. Right. <laughs> but oh, not bad for three alcoholics and a professionalism. This. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so uh, since you uh, you've had the least amount of drink, yeah, uh, how are you yeah. going to be celebrating the rest of the night? Catching up now, because that's it. Awards right. are done. Who, how long will this hangover last? I think? I'm sorry? How long will this hangover last? Well, hopefully no more than tomorrow. Right. Hopefully Saturday morning I'll be done. What's hopefully. your surefire hangover cure? Stay in bed, drink water, watch porn on there hotel TV. Right. Expensive though. Uh, like 10 99 or whatever. That's not that bad. Like you jack it off as much as you want as well, so that's a fucking bonus, right? <laughs> Till it really? looks like a lipstick. Exactly. Till it looks like a, like, a, uh, like a dog's one. <laughs> right. Well, enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks very don't much. Don't overdo it on the masturbating tomorrow. Uh, oh, no. I thought you were going to say don't overdo it on the drink. I was going to say, uh, well... Oh, the drink's fine. Do that as much as you want, like. There you go. Right? There you go. Sorry, man. Two K awards. Both Dan's behind Valentine. the camera. You can't see him. I've done this to every person that's behind the camera. Come here, Dan. Here he is. Dan's worked very hard today and he's going to have his first uh, Shandy Bass of the He's going to have a Shandy and a Schweppes. There you go. Shandy Schweppes. Brilliant. Well, thanks Proper. again. You are more than welcome. Thank you, Krang. We all that loves you. Thank you very much. See you on eBay. There you go, <laughs> yeah, mate. On. Another one for the fridge. Two for the fridge. Brilliant. <laughs> well, and that's it for another Krang Awards this year. Uh, everyone out there is having sausage and mash. Uh, we're going to join them now and... Uh, Enjoy the rest of the night, so thanks for watching and uh, see you next year, hangover prevailing. <laughs>